In this chapter, averages and allegations. So, three problems based on the average and three uh, based on the questions allegations. So, let us see. And the uh, concept also I'll give you for allegations as well as in averages. Two other shortcuts. Apart from what you know, another two simple shortcuts are explained in this. Let's start with question one, first easy one. A lady purchased five dresses at an average of 1500 each. Four bags at an average of 1200 each and three wallets at an average of 500 each. We already know the average nothing but sum of the observations by number of observations, right? Now when you come to this, five dresses at average of 1500 each. So 1500 and each one is 1500 like that five dresses. So total is 1500 into five. This one plus four bags at average of 1200 each. So each one is 1200 like that four are there. So this is the total worth of the dress and this total worth of these bags. And three valids at an average of 500 each. So 500 each like that three. This is the total sum by number of observations. So total how many items. So here is the five dresses, five plus and four bags, four plus three valids. Yeah, this if you can calculate, find the average cost of a total purchase will come. Simple problem, 1500 into 5, 7500 plus 12 4, so 4800 plus 5 into 3, so 1500. And overall divided by 5 plus 4 plus 3, 12. We can add this, 13800 by 12, then the total average is 1150. This is the average of each item, each item overall average. So even dresses, wallets, bags, overall average is 1150, right? This is the direct question. And when you come to these two type of problems, here you can see in a concert, there are 40, uh, 30 musicians whose average age is decreased by two months. When a musician aged 45 years is replaced by another musician, find the age of new musician, so new person. So decreased and increased. Third question is about the increased by uh, replacing one person, the overall average is increased. This is overall average is decreased. Okay, there are 30 musicians whose average age is decreased by two months when another person is replaced. Okay, then find the new. We have two concepts I give you directly. So if you want to find out age of new person, direct one can't find out the age of the new person, find the age of the new member no? who is joined. Then age of the removed person, age of the new person exactly equals to age of removed person formula I am giving. So age of the removed person minus number of people and decreased in age. Number of people times decreased in age. This question is decreased in age, no? Because of decreased, I kept the minus symbol. In case if it is increased, plus sign will come. There is no difference. Okay, now according to this problem, age of the removed person, okay, it is 45 years, minus number of people into decreased age. Number of people here is 30, into decreased age is uh, Two months. Two we can take. This you can calculate. So 45 minus. So two months now you can convert into the years. So two months means two by 12. So one by six. This is must be in age in years. So two ones are two six. Again six ones are six five. 45 minus five is 40 years. 40 years is the age of the new musician, new person. Same way, uh, see the next problem. Same formula. Average salary of the payout of 5 people in a company is 10,000 per month. One person's salary was 15,000, resigned and he was replaced by another person after this replacement. Average salary of the entire office becomes 12,000. Find the salary of the new entrant who came as new person. So, I count this. 
the salary of the new salary of the new person is according to the formula uh, age of the removed no here is the salary of the removed one so according to this one person salary was 15000 is resigned that means 15000 plus it is because by replacing the uh, which one is increased the average is increased it was replaced by another person after average of the salary entire becomes 12000 previous is 10 no now it has become 12 so it's increased then 5 into because number of people is 5 and increased that worth is 2000 increased value 10000 is previous now it became 12000 remember okay just direct calculation so 15000 plus 5 into 2000 so 10000 so total 25000 is the salary of the new entrant okay this is the increased or decreased directly you can use this uh, two methods to find out and let's come to this uh, allegations here also i'll give the shortcut uh, short trick method average salary of the entire staff in office is 5000 out of this the average salary of the men here is about men and women out of this the average salary of the men is 4600 right here 4600 and average salary of the women is 5200 find the number of men the number of women are 40 so now entire average of the whole so throughout the average you can take the number like this average is rupees 5000 then if you want to find out here you can keep the line subtract this number women this 5200 minus 5000 average minus women same line now this side this line so men average minus men men we can do it now we can get so 5200 minus 5000 is just 200 and 4600 minus okay this difference between average and this uh, difference between these two numbers not exactly same this minus this is again here is 400 then you can take the ratio so 200 and 400 200 is to 400 ratio is 1 is to 2 so for every two women there are one man so women are 40 now no this must be 80 yeah, okay, it's 20 should come. This is uh, women is this side now. Men and women. Men to women ratio is 1 is to 2. The women are 40, then men must be 20. If the number of women are 40, then find the number of men. Men must be 20. 20 members is the answer. This is the only average. Let us see one more question, get more clear idea. Okay, so in this problem, fifth one. At what rate should wheat at 14 rupees per kilo be mixed with wheat 20 rupees per kilo so as to get a bag of wheat with average rate of 18 rupees per kilo average is 18 just uh, two type of uh, wheat expensive expense wheat and cheap wheat cheaper wheat you can take both let be okay in this uh, 20 it is here is 14 14 per kilo this is a 14 uh, 20 rupees per kilo is 14 rupees per kilo then average is 18 then immediately just to do the cross uh, subtraction difference between you can write this side difference between these two numbers you can write this side 18 and 14 is 4 is the difference 18 and 22 is the difference 4 and 2 that's all so here they gave at what rate should this send this no so to get the average is 18 per kilo then that means 4 is to 2 so 2 is to 1 expense to the cheap wheat 2 is to 1 so we can take directly so final answer is that every 4 kilos according to this every 4 kilos of expensive then uh, here is a 2 kilos of cheaper must be added 
14 rupees. So in this take. So ratio only just know it what rate ratio. Ratio must be 2 is to 1. So for every 2 you need to add this one to get average is 18 rupees per kilo. So if they are taking 14 it must be double. Okay. So they are asking only this so at what rate. So final answer is 2 kilos of the cheaper. 2 we can take. Next even one more sum also see here. It's also the same. That question. For a class of 70 students, the school declared bonus price 10,500. Find out how many boys and girls are there in the class. If each boy get 110 and each girl at 180. So 110 and 180 is the boy and girl. Just you can write first. Then average. So 70 students total amount is 10,500. So 10,500 divided by 70. So 150. 0, 0 cancel. No? 7 times 1. So 150 will get this. Now just you can go for the cross subtraction. 180 and 150 difference is 30. 110 and 150 difference is 40. So 30 and 40. 30 is to 40. That is 3 is to 4. So final answer is 30 boys and 40 girls. So already they gave. And how many boys and girls are in their class? If each boy is getting. So number of boys and girls is 30 and 40 total because total strength is 70. In case 140 means this is a ratio. Ratio of the boys to the girls is 3 is to 4. If there are 40, these are the 30. This I got directly 30 and 40. No, so answer find how many boys. So 30 boys is and 40 girls is answer. These allegations you can use this method to solve.